everyone, good afternoon and welcome to my classroom. My name is Miss Gonzalez. Um, I hope you're all having a good day. How's it going so far? Great. Good. Okay, good. Okay, all right. So first off, before we start our lesson, I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, how I approach math class. Um, so I think what is really important about math, especially at this age, is just having a positive mindset about it. Um, because I know at your age it can be kind of frustrating if you haven't always been the best at it, but um, something I think is really important is having a growth mindset. Um, and so that we're all just open-minded about math because everyone has the capability of doing it, whether or not you've been really good at it in the past or not. So yeah, all right, so does anyone remember what we learned about yesterday? Camille? One-step equations. Good, yes we did. And so those are kind of like what we're learning about today, except today we're gonna be doing two-step equations. So does anyone remember how we solved it yesterday if there wasn't a two there? Okay. Uh, do you move the four? Yes, you do, good job, okay. Perfect, so today what we have is something very similar, but I also, I drew out this nice picture to help us visualize it better. Um, and so this is a little seesaw, and in the middle we have little birds. And so the main overall theme of today is equality. What you do to one side, you have to make sure that you do to the other. And so one of the main goals is to make sure that little birds don't fall off, so if you Take something off one side, you have to take it off the other. All right, so the equation we're using today is 4x minus 2 equals 10. And as you can see, I drew out the 4x's, the 2 and the 10, and they balance each other out right now. But so the first step, does anyone know, have any idea how we could start solving this problem? Haley? We can add 2 to both sides. Yeah, that's a great idea. We have to make sure that we add to because right here we're subtracting it. And so to get it to go away, we have to add it to this side. And we have to add it to this side. All right, and so that leaves us with 4x equals 12. And also what we can do is erase two of these little boxes. It's not working too well. Okay. And does anyone know what we could do next now that we have 4x with a more or less equal sign <laughs> equals 12? Camille? Divide by 4. Yes, that's a great idea. And if you guys notice, this kind of looks like our one-step equations now because we did, so we did the first part, which was the two step and the one step. So we end up with, does anyone know? Three. Three, great job, guys. Wow, that was so easy. Look, you solved it, that's amazing. So yeah, basically, two step equations really aren't that hard, but the one of the most important things to remember is that to have equality and to balance out both sides. And I think one of the easiest ways to do that is, well, here, what would happen if we had divided by 4 first? I mean, it would be really hard. Basically, that's <laughs> what we're trying to think, is that if we don't want any messy fractions, <laughs> what we should do is just add first and then divide. And so that kind of leads into this chant that I want to teach you to help you remember how to do the equation. So. I'm going to practice it for you first. We have little hand gestures to help you remember it. And it goes, add or subtract first, then multiply or divide. Make sure you balance on each side. All right, okay. does that sound good? Yes. Do you think we can do it all together now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Add or subtract first, multiply and divide. That's how we make sure to balance each side. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a
have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Thanks for Gonzalez. <laughs>